Jonathan Turley, George Washington University law professor and Fox News contributor, joining us now by phone. Jonathan, we're just learning of the news. It is breaking now. Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer set to retire. We would assume uh, that the president would put up a liberal nominee for all of this. Tell us about this day and how it plays the way that you see it. Well, these days often are momentous for the court as an institution by simple mathematics. You know, this is one of nine. And this is a justice who has left his mark on that court. Uh, he was appointed by Bill Clinton. He replaced Harry Blackman. And he has been a quite reliable liberal voice on the court. He's been one of those voices on the 5-4 decisions on some of the most important issues of our time, from abortion to the use of international law to the role of federal agencies. Uh, he's considered to be a, a quite brilliant legal mind. He taught at Harvard Law School, and uh, he's extremely erudite in how he approaches the law. And obviously, these moments have to be translated through a political lens. You know, we have a divided Congress, a 50-50 division in the Senate. Uh, and the timing here is, is rather conspicuous. The, there have been groups on the left who have been pressuring uh, Breyer to resign. There was even billboards that were being driven around Washington. Why? Telling him to resign. Uh, because the liberals want to put a younger person on the court oh. while they still can. And the billboards were really incredibly insulting. Uh, and... Uh, there was a pushback by many, including myself. That type of thing just isn't done. It, it, it wasn't necessary. But it was also incredibly uh, disrespectful. Crass? To someone who had, that, that's the word know. I was thinking of. And so um, this is not the way this man should have retired with this sort of mob baying at his heel. Simply because they want a younger person. Now, what happens from here is going to get rather interesting. We, we know that, uh, that President Biden has already pledged that he will only consider an African-American woman for the court. And when he made that pledge, I wrote a column at the time saying that's a rather curious pledge to make on a court that wouldn't allow that type of approach for college mm. admission. But when it comes to admissions on this court, you're saying that huh. you won't consider anyone uh, who is male or who is not African-American. And so that's going to come up again very quickly. And the irony is the Supreme Court just accepted two cases on the use of race preferences in college admissions. Yes. And so this is obviously going to come up where the president's going to have to decide if he intends to fulfill a pledge that the court would never allow if he was actually admitting someone uh, to a college. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.